Episode 3 of The Last of Us had the biggest story changes from the video game to the show adaptation, but I truly think it was a brilliant move. Episode 3 focuses on the characters of Bill and Frank. In the games, we never get to see Frank alive. We also never get to know too much about him or Bill and their story. We just know they lived and worked together for about 20 years and eventually had a falling out. Frank got tired of Bill and his methods of survival, so he took supplies and left. Eventually, Frank got bitten and he took himself out so he wouldn't succumb to the infection. Some things are implied about them in the game and you can make some assumptions, but it's never confirmed and we never see it actually happen. But things play out much different in this episode. We get a full episode focused on them and their relationship. Bill lived at his compound alone for a while until one day Frank showed up, trying to get to Boston. Bill allowed him to come inside and eat, and they ended up getting romantically involved with each other. Instead of going to Boston, Frank stays there with Bill, and just like the game, they live together for 20 years. They eventually meet Tess and Joel during that time period and start working with them, trading supplies. Bill and Frank have a beautiful relationship throughout this episode and throughout these 20 years, but eventually as they grow older, Frank gets sick and was wheelchair bound and dying. Getting around was difficult for him, and he was ready to go, knowing he didn't have much time left anyway. So, he requested to have one last great day with Bill before taking his own life. The two spent the day together, they got married, and at the end of the day, they had a dinner together. During this, Bill puts crushed up pills in Frank's wine glass at his request, and Frank chugs the glass. But then, Bill chugs his glass as well, and it's revealed that he spiked his own glass as well. As Bill put it, He's old, satisfied, and Frank was his purpose. The two go to bed, never to wake up again. The story and relationship of these two is beautifully tragic, but I think it's a great change. We just don't have time to explore that backstory in the game, and I think doing it the way they did in the show was a fantastic change. They did it perfectly. You know the writing of his show is really good when they make you care that much and feel that sad over characters we only got for one episode. The main focus of this episode was on side characters, and it was just as good, if not better, than the first two episodes of the show that focused on the main characters. I mean, when we got Beth episodes in The Walking Dead, I wanted to turn the TV off. The only downside to this change is we never got the witty back and forth between Bill and Ellie. That was definitely one of the funnier parts in the game's story because he was alive when Joel and Ellie showed up but I'm willing to sacrifice some of the comedy and humor for a well-told story of these two characters, and that's exactly what we got. Besides Frank and Bill, we did get some scenes between Ellie and Joel in the episode, and those were great. We're starting to see Joel care more about Ellie at a slow pace. Yes, he's definitely still overall cold, and he's trying not to care for her, but you can tell he does care for her more than he did in the first two episodes. He gave her his coat, and he tried to protect her from seeing the dead bodies. The chemistry between Pedro and Bella is fantastic, and I can't wait to keep seeing the character's relationship develop in the show. That's it for this video, giving my review of episode 3. It really was fantastic, and it makes me so eager for episode 4. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and be sure to be on the lookout for more The Last of Us videos.